Hi everyone, it's only Steve from Plot 42, just a quick update. I made some strawberry beer. Uh, looking at me recipe, six days ago, on 25th of the October. And I really should have racked it off by now and added some fuckles, so I've just done it today. Just racked it off, added 25 grams of fuckles, and it took a rabbit to read in. And that's um, 10, 12. So I've done it in ABV, roughly, up 4.2%. It ain't too bad if you stop now, but I won't be too bothered. But I took a sample of it, and so that's not bad. That quite chill for that color. Mm. Siphoned it off into another barrel in the back, that one there. See, that's why I added the fuck holes. I got Aunt Rogerson's favorite type of airlock on the top, but I know there's not going to be much fermentation, so I've left them on. That's the stout I did yesterday, bubbling away nicely. So I thought I'd give this a quick taste test, see what it tastes like. It's the first time I've tried it. Oh, it smells strawberries, isn't it? If, oh, if, not overpowering the smell of strawberries, just put, just put that down. Not an overpowering smell. It's a faint smell, which isn't, which isn't too bad. I get more of a smell of the strawberries than I did the rhubarb when I did the rhubarb one. Rhubarb, yeah. Anyway, the all important taste test. So it looks good, smells good. So the sun's getting in my eyes now. Let's open it tastes right. Different. So we add a little bit to the strawberries at the front. A bit fucking short for us. A little bit tangy on the on the middle of the tongue. Then I'll say then the flavour goes. That's not bad really, after a week, a week, week old. I'm going to say it's come out four point two. so if, rack, if it gets down a few more, it'll, ABV will go back up. Obviously when I prime it, it'll go back up a little bit more. Yeah, it's not that bad, not bad that really, considering substituted it, sorry. Also the cheat's going to change anyway because of the fuckles I've just added into the, the barrel. Yeah, that's good there. Yeah, anyway, leave that with you. And probably the next time you see this is when I've either when I bottled it or sat there drinking it. Cheers, guys. Hey, everyone, it's Steve from Block 42. Another update on the bees I've got. This is that Wilkinson's Pilsner. What I did. It's not 100% clear. What I, did, what I did with this one was added 500 grams of. Body brew, which increased the head intention. One kilo of sugar. Then, after six days, I dry hopped it with 55 grams of fuggles. Well, that's why I left in the bag. And that's on the 24th of October. Just done a reading on the 1st of November. And it's come down to 10.12. So it started off at 10.48. Still at 10.12. And it's, it's took eight days to drop down eight points. So, so I don't know. It's a bit slow, eh, but... This is coming out at 4.8 percent up to now. I'll leave it a bit longer, so it goes. And if it doesn't drop down anymore, I'll say I'll say I'll bottle it. So I thought this is a cheap Wilco's kit. I think I got it for eight quid, 55 grams of fuggles what I had left. So give this a taste test. It's, it's not bad, bro. Don't look too bad. Can't really smell much, but let's see what it tastes like. It's book of writing now.
Not that. It's all right, but it's not that good. Like, I thought I'd tasted the fuggles in it, but it tastes different than a standard kit. It may better, get better with age, but I'm not. I'm just been happy with that one, mate. Right? I know it's only a cheap tin, mate, right? but. Got a little, little bit of a taste in the cat, don't I? I don't know what it is. It's not an off taste, just. No, I can't put a finger on it. No. It's drinkable, I mean, like 4.8%. But I, I, I expect it to taste something different than that. But like I say, so get a bit longer and see how it goes. Mm. It's all I can do. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. Yeah, oh, I'm hoping it just think, hoping it, what they call it, gets better with age. But we will see it, and no doubt I'll tell you how it goes on. Cheers. Hey, everyone, it's Steve again from Plot 42. Just another, <coughs> another testing. Right then, beetroot one. I started it on the 5th of October and that was a starting gravity of 10.94. I put three pounds of beetroot in, three pounds of sugar and one lemon juice. I didn't put no cloves in it and no ginger which goes in the other brews that I've done. I wrapped it. I don't know where the fucking date's around, the 5th of the 8th. Oh no, I started it on the 5th of the 10th in the bucket. Put the damage on on 8th of October and I've just racked it now 1st of November and it's come out down now as 986 which is a percentage of 14.3% Maybe a bit high but not putting the clothes and ginger in for some reason it's gone real purpley colour No, it's not just normally this purple Nice colour, don't get me wrong Nice uh, 14.3% So I've gone past I should maybe should have stopped it a bit while ago But see, it hasn't took that long really to drop down I'm going to give it a taste test I think I'll rip all the senses off my tongues I don't know this one will go But Can't smell no alcohol can smell the beets, beet root I know I could smell the cloves or the, the ginger in the, the previous proofs. It's the first time I've done it without them additions. I smell the beets, so I'll give it a taste test. You can taste the <coughs> alcohol in that. As soon as you take it, you can feel it like, sort of evaporate into your, into your, into your gob. Okay, that's a bit. I'm drinking meths, I think. Oh, that cleans your tongue. I don't think you can drink much of that in one night. Normally, if I have a bottle of wine, I'll start it and I'll, and I'll try and finish it in one night. I might finish this, but I might knock it up again. I think I'll wrap that in the next couple of days, leave it to ferment. Well, I don't want to ferment anymore, but age a bit, I think. It's not bad, don't get me wrong, it's different. It does taste different compared to the other one. I'm about to do a, a side by side with an, another beetroot wine I've done with the additions in it. I'll try it on somebody else. It's not that bad actually, really. Well, so it, it strips your tongue back, it takes all the bloody all the crap off your tongue, and it just strips back to bare bones. I think it's like sucking on a, on a, on a menthol sweet, breathing now, like, like you get that clean, crisp, freshness breath kind of thing. Like when you're sucking it back in, if you know what I mean. All right. Awful done. I don't know if I'll finish this just yet. But 
last three little reviews in one day. Right, catch you soon.